hate it. I mean, all right, just roll it. Look at this thing. I'm gonna be blunt. I don't hate this ship. It's actually much, much worse. I don't care about it at all. And chances are, neither do you. This is the Federal Dropship, the prototype space brick. And before we get into any of this, let's start off with the good. The cockpit in this thing actually looks pretty decent. I'm generally not a fan of exposed canopies on combat ships, but the dropship does make it look good. It's a nice centerline layout for the captain's seat, and there's drinks available at a moment's notice. It really does look like this is the cockpit of an actual multi-purpose ship. And despite the fact that it looks like a shipping container with wings, Core Dynamics has, probably unintentionally, created what can be the most hull-tanked medium ship ever. For whatever that's worth. And these sound like good things. You might think that there's plenty of reasons to want a hull-tanked ship, and who doesn't want a nice cockpit? But there's just a small problem here. None of these things matter because there's nothing the dropship can do that some other ship isn't far better at. Because the dropship is fundamentally broken. First, this is not a dropship. A dropship is a craft specifically meant to dock at larger spacecraft and ferry people to the surface of a planet. Most people just use the term shuttle. This is not a shuttlecraft. Second, they used the design of this ship as a template for two more dedicated Federation Navy ships. And the next one up from this, the Federal Assault Ship, only costs a few million more than this one. It technically has less firepower than the drop ship, but it's also faster, more agile, and better suited for combat. Not that I'd recommend that one either. Because if you're looking for a cheap medium fighter, you should be buying the Chieftain. And the Chieftain won't make you deliver bio-waste for a rank, unlike the other two. What I can't figure out is, why is this ship behind a rank at all? Who out there is demanding proof of my military exploits to deem me worthy of flying this? It's like fighting for special dispensation to get a prostate exam. There might be someone out there who enjoys it, but it's probably not going to be you. And it's not just that it's ugly, it's actively designed badly. You only need to glance up at the gunship to realize that this was a waste of time. There's room enough in here for an additional size 6 internal slot on top of a fighter bay and two small hardpoints. How? Where is this space on the dropship? Did they not finish building it? Someone made the argument to me that the dropship was like buying the base model of a car with a smaller engine and without all the bells and whistles on it. But the only reason to ever buy the base model is because you like the way it looks. And there's no child in the Federation with a poster of this ship on their bedroom wall. Still, four medium and one large hardpoint isn't nothing. It's entirely possible the dropship could surprise me but not if I was flying it. So I brought in Rui Rebai to see if he could make the dropship into something I can care about.
don't get it. Who is this ship for? What is it for? For some reason, the military rank locked dropship is billed as a multi purpose craft. But it just isn't. Truth be told, it does have the makings of a decent miner. Both deep core and traditional laser mining modules can be fitted easily. But it has such terrible jump range, it turns the entire process into a grueling event. I would be more than happy to use this ship as an armored passenger transport or a cargo freighter. But again, the jump range just means I'll be doing that badly too. I'm not even going to try exploring in it. This is very clearly just a half-assed combat ship. And even then, its biggest draw of being the best hull tank is a bit undercut by the fact that its power plant is way too exposed after the shields go down. And armoring the power plant is going to make your own jump range even worse. In fact, you could fix a lot of the problems with the dropship with engineering. But I don't know why you would. Why waste those materials making this ship usable when you can make something else even better? I'd argue it's on Core Dynamics to fix this mess. Finish the work. Put another size 6 internal slot inside, give it a decent FSD, and get rid of the Navy rank. At least that would make sense. A civilian version of the Federal gunship. Because that's what's getting me. Nothing about this ship as it is makes sense. A potentially massive armor rating with an exposed power core. Over 160 tons of cargo space and no jump range. It can't turn, but it still drifts all over the place. And as pretty as that canopy is, it blows quicker than your prom date after jello shots. And all of this is even more frustrating because I legitimately enjoyed the gunship. I know what this ship could have been. I know what it will eventually become. Flying it now is just a reminder that Core Dynamics blew it the first time around and made you grind for the privilege.